uh, and I say this to rookies in general, um, not a popular comment, but Charlie knew this. And that's what I tell the kids when we, when we do the things, do our sessions here. If you're the youngest guy or if you're a, like, let's just say we have a skate and uh, Zach Cassian's out and Dalton Prout's out and then you got some junior guys and you got some whatever, some junior guys. You'd be amazed how many of the young guys will let Dalton Prout and Zach Cassian pick up a puck. I know. That's not acceptable. Yeah. That's just a higher heart arc of hockey. It's called respect, right? You respect the ice, you respect the room. Uh, and what I mean by that is people have paid their dues and it's not an ask thing. It's a hierarchy thing, right? You're the new guy. So if you want to fit in the room real early or fit on the ice or real early, and I told Charlie this, he did, he got in shit for picking up bucks. And I said, good, that good. So like, I guess George said, no, 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 no get out, get out of here. That someone else will do it. Okay. But at least you went and did what That's you were right. supposed to do. Yeah. So when you're the rookie in the room, so let's say, say it's the lunch break, right? In between sessions, it's lunch. Okay. Don't be the first guy to go up, but then don't be the last. You're, let's say you're getting going and you see, let's say, uh, Profaka, who's the overage now. Profaka, Walker, and McFarland are in, you're in front of them. You look around and you say, oh, guys, you go first. And then when they say, no, no, you go first. He said, no, no, I'm just the rookie. You guys go. I get it. And then they they'll, they'll, they might say, no, you go ahead, kid. But you did the right thing. Yeah. yeah. Now they can't sit there and say, this guy's a jackass. Right. Who do you think he is? He's a puckser, you know throwing tape on the floor, stuff like that. Don't be afraid to pick it up and the, the trainer can say, okay, good guy. That's, right away, dude, right, dude away. right away. There's no, th- th- you're not too cool. That's right. You're the rookie. You need to f- find your spot. And you want guy, the older guys to like you. You know that you're the rookie and it's, it's because if you don't, you will. That's right. By force. It's like called discipline. Remember yeah. I said in the discipline episode, discipline yourself or someone else will discipline you. So if you don't go in there and pick up the box, go last and just have the humble pie for the first year, the first camp, you will get humble pie the way you don't want it. Right. Because it comes out in the wash. So just be a good dude. Yeah. Figure it out. Now, impor- important distinction because I know this is actually really important because people are going to talk about, well, that's like rookie hazing and like all this stuff. Okay. There's a difference between somebody making you do it and you going and doing it right so if as the as the the new guy or the guy who's at his first camp or or just made the team or whatever you taking the initiative to go and pick the pucks up and put the tape in the garbage and if somebody's got an extra plate to throw out you throw it out that that kind of thing or grabbing an extra bag off the bus you taking the initiative to do that you're showing that you're respecting the team you're respecting the organization and you're understanding that you're trying to earn your stripes with this team because it is a team and you're either going to integrate into the team or you're not. And that's something that you can do to help integrate yourself into the team. That's different than the 21 year old or the 20 year old, which this does happen saying, pick up all the garbage, purposely throwing things on the ground and making you pick it up and all that kind of stuff. Because as the rookie, I wouldn't take that shit either. If, if I got a guy that purposely throws balls of tape right at my feet to pick up and says, pick it up rookie. I'd be like, I'm not picking it up. You know, so the, understand the distinction of you respecting the team and trying to integrate yourself and taking shit from a guy that's being an asshole, right? So that's that's the important important distinction on that because you should, I will take it to the grave, you should be someone who's doing those things when you're a first-year guy because you're showing respect to the team, respect yeah, to the boys, 100%. and that you want to be a part of that group, you 100%. know? And that's just, it is what it is, man. It doesn't this, matter what you say about it. The flip side of that just is, has nothing to do with someone's first training camp. This has something to do with veteran leadership, though, is... The veteran leaders, like the guys that are secure, they're actual leaders. When the rookie comes, they don't do that stuff. Absolutely. And then the rookie does, the, like a good leader, when you go to eat, let's say, I'm using that for an example, or getting on the bus, or maybe you buy him a coffee no. when on on a road trip. But you, uh, when, when you're, what was I saying? When you're, um, when you're the veteran leadership. Yeah. So let's say it's the lunch, right? You're the, you're a rookie kid. You're, you're already nervous, man. Yeah. I know that. So it's okay. Like I've I've been drafted to the Dallas Stars, let's say, and it's like this kid's looking at you. You don't have to be a nice guy. You don't. Right. Most guys aren't. But a really cool leadership thing is, say, hey, Eric, go ahead, man. No, no, you go ahead. No, dude, go ahead. You're working hard. It's like, yeah. and then the guy goes, "That's a good guy." Yeah. Does it does it matter in life? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. The other thing. So now, training camp thing is what you have to understand too, is when you go there as a rookie guy. Wouldn't I know people probably don't think about this too much. I'm going to play for the Windsor Spitfires, Guelph Storm, whatever. You know, I can't wait. They're going to hope the guys like me. They don't want to like you right away. 
Why don't they want to like you? Because you're trying to take my yeah, job. You're a threat. So if you go in there with an attitude like owning the room already and not having the hierarchy respect, and and uh, that's so that's a negative already. But you're trying to take my job. I uh, Charlie, right? He's just going into his second year. Does he want the first, second, and third rounder to be like they're all forwards? Does he want them to be awesome? Right. Yes and no. Right. Exactly. He wants them to be awesome for sure because he wants the team to win. He's he is a team guy, but we don't think we think of ourselves first. That's right. And I want my cookies, right? And, and that's not talking out of turn. I want my cookies. I hope you're good, but I just hope you're not as good as me. Yeah. Right. Well, it's, it's that, so you don't want a young guy being successful actually yeah. it's what's that human nature thing right <laughs> yeah. it's like i don't i want you to do well as yeah. long as it's not better than me right and there's a, an element of that that you need to work through when you're a first year guy because eventually if you work through and you are the, a good guy on the team whatever that goes away where it's like i actually want this guy to do well i want i want cam to do well i want the rookie guy that just came in to do well like all that will start to go away because i actually like this guy and he deserves what he gets you know and that that's the initial the, the initial like probation phase of being a rookie is like you're trying to work through that because you're a threat to the tribe, man. You're not in the tribe yet. You're a threat to the tribe. And so you got to show that you want to be in the tribe. And that's, that's just, that's just human nature, man. And that's, that's part of the, part of the deal. But to, to your point about the, the veteran thing too, I wanted to, to touch on that again. As a veteran guy at training camp, don't be a dick, man. And it's really, it's really don't, important. Don't show how insecure you are. Make the boys feel comfortable, man. Like, do you not remember when you were 16 or even at the university? Do you not remember when you're the 20 year old coming in? You just moved to Ontario for the first time. It's like, that's a big, that's a big deal, man. Like help the guys integrate. And that doesn't mean there's not certain things that you can still take part in as a veteran where like the rookies have to do certain things or whatever. That's fine. But it's like when guys are uncomfortable or like when it comes to eat, like eating or like stupid things where they sit on the bus, like all this kind of stuff, it's like. Don't be the guy that's enforcing stupid rules for no reason, because then people just think you're a goof as as the veteran guy. And I don't care what anyone says in hockey. Maybe you'll get through your entire hockey career, never having that bite you in the ass. But hockey stops one day and it'll bite you in the ass after if you're a goof, because people don't care anymore when you're done playing hockey. They stop cutting you the slack that they gave you as a hockey player. You know, and we've talked about that, that yeah. a whole bunch. I had too, the so. one, one, one veteran that was uh, a veteran right to the last day. Yeah. Like we're in March and April. It's still, hey, rookie. It's like, yeah, I'm not actually a rookie anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. You Seriously. know, once you, I've got, you know, you got half a season or more, and you've got your scars, and you've done, you know, you've you've done the thing. It's like we're just a team now. And it goes to your picture thing, right? When yeah. you see well, there, that, yes, picture, right, yes, see that guy. That's the that's the memory that you have of him now, right? Yep. Every time you say you're like, this guy's a goof, man. Goof, you know. So. Yeah.